Titusville man accused of killing two of his neighbors will not face the death penalty. The court decided today to enforce the U.S. Supreme Court decision that ruled Florida's death penalty system unconstitutional. The case in question involves this guy, William Woodward. He's accused of shooting his neighbors during a Labor Day barbecue back in 2012. News 6 reporter Troy Campbell was in the courtroom for today's hearing in Brevard County. Also in the courtroom this afternoon, Woodward's parents. They didn't want to go on camera because they said they don't want to jeopardize their son's case. However, I did speak to them in the hallway, and they told me how difficult the past few years have been on their family. Now feeling relieved that the death penalty has been taken off the table. The only sentence that could be imposed on Mr. Woodward at this point, given the ruling in hers, if he's convicted of first-degree murder, it's life. William Woodward, hearing a judge's ruling, the death penalty, not an option for jurors during his double murder trial. Back in September 2012, investigators say Woodward went over to his neighbor's house, firing 31 rounds, killing 39-year-old Gary Hembry and 44-year-old Roger Pecor. After being shot 11 times, the third victim, Bruce Blake, survived. The neighbors in court for a restraining order a week before the killings. It's a lot less to have to prepare for, so we can focus even more on the guilt or innocence aspect of this case. Back in May, the court denied Woodward's request to argue his innocence under Florida's standard ground law. His attorney saying the death penalty should have never been an option in the first place. And obviously, we believe he's not guilty of murder. We believe he acted in self defense. But even if he was convicted of that, the mitigating factors uh, heavily outweigh the aggravating factors in this case. Pending an appeal from the state, Woodward's trial is set to begin on Monday at 8 a.m. In Brevard County, Troy Campbell, News 6.